Hey, sneaking in back today. Today we've got a little quick one for you. It's Simplicity Linux Netbook 10.10 .10 build alpha. Remember, it's an alpha. And we're going to have a quick look for it. Just a real quick one today. It's not a long one because it's an alpha. Well, basically it's quirky, which is puppy based, as you know, but with XFCE and some other bits and bobs. So down the bottom there, you've got all the usual hide your windows, quit, lock your screen, all your four workspaces, and adjust your volume. That's all right. Now, it's meant to help Windows users come over from Windows to Linux. Right. I don't know about it all myself, but hey, it's not my distro. I didn't make it. I'm just showing you. Don't shoot the messenger. Anyway, in setup, we have Elsa and all the rest of the stuff. He's got the NVIDIA drivers and the settings there. So if you've got an NVIDIA card, very, very good. He's already installed them for you. Super. And the file system, all usual, apart from Snap 2. I like that. There you go. Basically, it takes a snapshot of your GUI. Oh, nice. I like a bit of backing up, because I don't do enough of it, as you may know, and I lose stuff, etc, etc. But hey, that's pretty cool. Nice little thing to have in there. Don't you think so? Well, I do, yeah. We'll get rid of that and go on to the next bit, as we ain't got much time today. Oh, it's raining and raining bad. I've got to do some bailing out. Games. There's wine mine in there. Graphics. We have the Gimpy, of course. Very good. I like it when they keep Gimpy. Chrome and Firefox as your browser's in that section there. Slife it as your mail. In multimedia, all the usual puppy stuff, VLC, Asunder, all what you really need. Networking, plenty there for your networking. Right, Office, it's put parts of Open Office in. Now, whether you want this or not is up to you, but it's there if you really want to use it, really. So if you like Open Office, it's fine. If you don't, you can just get rid of it if you want to. Right, in system, all the usual. I'll well, we go through the processes with you. Look, as you can see, just using just over 50 meg of RAM. And the CPUs ain't too bad, considering it's got F XFC running as well at the same time. So I ain't too worried too much about that. So, yeah. But you know what? I know where that picture is now. I just thought about it. We used to live near there. Okay. Let's go through this top. We have our software, which is basically the Puppy Package Manager. Now, as you can see, he's already got loads and loads in there, especially for printing. And there's the NVIDIA driver, this 19536. Now, if I click it, Puppy thinks I want to remove it. So I'll quickly cancel that. Otherwise, we're up poo. Didn't we really? Don't want to do that whatsoever. So anyway, as you can see, loads and loads of extra stuff he's put in there. Chrome is a Google Chrome. It's not Chromium. I would prefer to put Chromium in, but hey, that's, that is my decision. I don't make it, man. I just show you. Okay, control pedal, usual puppy stuff. Cloud drive. Here's one for you. So I opened it up. I opened it up earlier, actually, just to make sure. And basically, it's drop.io. So basically, a drop and share place to share your files with your friends and whatever, if you're doing stuff. So that's pretty cool. I might have to use that and give that a good bit of a go, I think, see what happens. So that runs in Opera, as you can see. So we'll close him down. Firefox web browser, the user installer. That's Pigeon. That's Skype. Skype, he works out of the box, as it has done in Puppy for a long while, and Quirky, even better, I think. The sound's a bit better, I found, when I did try it last time. So we'll come out of that. I'll go down to the bar, I'll make sure it's completely turned off, and I don't want you to use anything whatsoever. Right, like Excel, it's open office, as I said before. There's my main drive. Internet Explorer in Wine. Right. I'm not even going to go down that road. I won't. Well, on the whole, it's an alpha build. It's one of the better ones he's done. I'll wait for the beta and see what happens. Sneaky Linux going out. See you later.